So we're going to install a print driver with codes for Iconica Minolta. We have a zip file. First thing we're going to do is unzip that. We have a driver folder inside. We're going to drop that on our desktop. Wait for that to unzip. Once it's unzipped, we should have a driver folder on the desktop, which we do. Inside the driver folder, we will have a setup. If it's 64-bit, we'll choose this 64-bit setup for this model. I think it's a 32. Here, go in a little bit. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so we've got the setup. We're going to double-click on the setup. I'm going to run that. Our kind of come an Ulta screen. Right now it's going to browse for the printer. And if everything goes well, it will find it. Once it finds the printer, we'll hit next. And we'll go to installation settings. And we'll choose the drivers we want to install. For this one, we're going to choose PCL in the back driver. And then hit install. Okay, so once it's finished, we'll just hit finish, and now we're going to put codes on there, and we're also going to set a default to black and white. So we're going to go to devices and printers, open up our printers folder, where we should see all of our devices. We are going to go to our printer, we're going to right click, go down to printing preferences, and go to the quality tab. Here we're going to select out of color, we're going to change that to grayscale. So we print black and white. We're going to apply that. And we're going to go to the basic tab, go to authentication account track, and enter our code in for our color printing. Uh, verify to make sure we typed our code correctly. Once we know where it's right, we'll hit OK, apply, and OK. And then we're done.